Revelation 6, 5 and 6. When the Lamb opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. I looked, and there before me was a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. Then I heard what sounded like a voice from the four living creatures saying, Two pounds of wheat for a day's wages, and six pounds of barley for a day's wages. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says global food prices are likely to rise even higher after hitting records in January. And this raises concern for many countries. Global food prices rose in January at a record high. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization said on Thursday that food prices went above 2008 peaks when rising food prices sparked riots. Many countries could be affected by food price inflation, and some don't expect the food price hike to ease for some time. The issue that concerns is that the duration of this uh, price increase, which has started so many months ago, and not really giving us any indication is going to change dramatically in the future, uh, coming months, uh, is long. And this long duration is something that I think eventually will mean more food inflation in many countries. Up for the seventh month in a row, the index was the highest since records began in 1990 and topped in June 2008 during the food crisis of 2007-2008. Surging food prices have fueled protests that toppled Tunisia's president in January and have spilled over to Egypt and Jordan. Severe drought in the Black Sea last year, heavy rains in Australia and dry weather in Argentina, and anticipation of the spike in demand after unrest in North Africa and the Middle East has caused grain prices to rise steeply. High food prices are of major concern, especially for countries that face problems in financing food imports and for poor households which spend a large share of their income on food. may make something like 100 or 200 dollars a month. The chocolate pie has an interesting role because it's traded on the black market at about 10 dollars. The North Korean black market, uh, it's something that has sort of sprung up uh, somewhat with approval of North Korea's leaders. Where one would run into problem if uh, one is discovered with uh, a radio, a television set, a cell phone that has access to the outside, one would be thrown into uh, a labor camp. Official estimates, at least 130,000 North Koreans who are imprisoned in these gulags. And do not damage the oil.
This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.